Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. With me, Get Daved, I am definitely not lost. Did a little bit of wandering off camera with, uh, hey, Squall's group. And, well, everyone ended up literally <laughs> exactly where they started. So, let's go catch up. Oh, hey. We'll do this quickly. Oh, hey, Cactuar. How exciting. Blow his brains out, Irvin. Nothing but ingredients to speed junctioning. Scrolls? To me. Some of the bad attitude was lost on that. Not the first time. There we go. I will switch to the other party, thank you. All right, We've got Squall's posse up high now. Hmm, got a floodgate key. One? Yeah. some reason did I just not do this at any point oh that feels bad oh my goodness because I was on a side detour the entire time huh <laughs> I'm great at exploring well hey squall hope you wanted to come down here Let's uh, continue on. We have a key to the floodgate now, so I guess we look into that now. Uh, and round and up and I don't know. The important thing is that we're getting a lot of cardio. No, I think there were those two levers. There's one in the treasure vault and one in the dungeon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the dungeon. So let's go check it out. I believe the dungeon is through the gallery, which is past the bell tower. Also, can I pull the thing from here? So I just thought I could pull that rope. Maybe we have to take out everyone else first. I don't know. It's important. Oh, hey, Wendigo. So we just want to make sure Irvin attacks him because he can steal steel pipes. Or you can blow their brains out and be done with it. Also, those creeps you can sometimes draw a life, and even full life. Maybe. That last one might be a lie. But anyway, life's a good spell. Steel orb. Hey, a cursed spike. That's actually pretty good. You can get pain from it, so. Hmm? Yeah, whatever, I give up. <laughs> I have a feeling this... Okay. Let's see how our elemental defenses are. I would say that was unfavorable. Alright, now through the door. I'm pretty sure the keys magically transport from one party to the other, so... Good news, everyone. All right, yeah, the dungeon's down here. And there was, like, a little stream anyway. Yeah. Yeah, perfect.
Hmm. Not sure how that... Yeah, whatever. We're not going to question how it turned off the flow of water on the other side. I thought it was actually going to flood that. There's also this lever here. Oh yeah, and a hidden Ultima draw point. I did grab that off camera. Anyway, I got my eye on you, Switch. Also, if you're wondering what the implications of flipping that were, uh, get in line, is what I would say. Uh, let's try getting Squall, just to run through the lower path on the main area. Ugh, if I had a dollar every time I made that jog. Because, I'm not gonna lie, folks. Uh, cancel. I want Omega Weapon dead in this episode. That might be a bit overambitious. We'll see. Okay, we'll step on the chandelier. We'll fall down. That's pretty much the only place I didn't check out off camera. Uh, see, like, that's two broken ankles and three broken knees on each person. That's what Dr. Dave says, anyway. Alright, there's the fountain. Hey! Eh. Treasure Vault Key. I wonder... Okay, I want to check something else out first, though. So this one I had to look up. I wasn't sure what to do with the organ, and <laughs> what you have to do is make a beautiful sound. Okay, this is gonna be tricky because I uh, had to remap some of the buttons, L2 and R2 specifically. I don't know if it worked. I'm using both hands, folks. Okay, careful, Dave. I'm not sure how to physically do this. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Maybe. <laughs> so you just have to hit every key at once. I don't know if I succeeded or not. But you got to hear some beautiful music. That's about how well I can play a normal piano. Hmm. Actually, you know what? We're gonna check out over here first. Mainly because I forget what's there. Oh, hey! Yeah, that one spear stopping us? Okay. So those were connected to the, the organ. So we just have to do better. All of them have to be down. So I missed a note, basically. I'm a little tempted to map all of the controls to one button. Alright, maybe if I use my belly button. Had a good feeling about that one. And a bit of an ab workout. So yeah, the two trigger buttons, L2 and R2, are mapped to pushing in the analog sticks. Normally L3 and R3. What that means is I have to press all the face buttons and that ties up a thumb. And both triggers, or both shoulders. Eh, yada yada yada, it's a lot. Okay, we remember this. And that is a Rosetta Stone. Perfect. 
And what is this? This is new to me. Holy cow! And now we're back where Zell is. Okay, I'm gonna test something else then. So one of the things I was gonna check out was whether or not that treasure vault key works here. No, by the friggin' lever. All right, I believe that's our answer. And now I officially have no idea where to go. Well, I mean, I could fight Ultimatia, I suppose. Hmm. One sec, I'm gonna commute. Wait. No, that's not a path leading to the right. Okay, brainstorming session. All right, I think I know where we're headed now. Off camera, I was secretly gonna be really clever and I was going to use like the Rosetta Stone that we got and the Elm Guard and all those things. Uh, overlooked one detail, the item command is still sealed, so, so that's not gonna happen. But what we can do is go use that treasure vault key, beat the last boss, and then unseal the item function, and then, you know, then we can take care of business. Um, that's the sound of somebody who does know where they're going. Now, uh, there's that long hallway where it thunders lots. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, never mind. Up one level. So, the long hallway where there's thunder. We, uh, have a key to a room just off to the side. And I'm just gonna hug the wall to try finding the sweet spot, basically. And then... Then we prepare for Omega. And around? You know, this place would be a pain to get around. Great for parties, though. Is this a door? There it is. It's a pretty opaque game. Alright. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, holy. Uh, you can have it, Renala. I think I kind of just got lucky. Not gonna lie, I was just trying to start understanding the, uh, the puzzle, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I am Kadopu Boss. Uh, well, I don't know. I have nothing against you, personally. For some reason, Squall's missing a meteor. Easy chance to fix that. Uh, what am I looking for here? The old meltdown. You know what? Oh, we've already seen those GFs. This group is pretty elementally weak. If I had the item command, that would have been resolved, but... There we go. We're gonna check out Tonberry. Oh, please don't die, Tonberry. We need to see your beautiful summon. And just beat him up. Alright, work quickly, Tonberry. And I'm not sure if he can boost. Just gonna wait until the summon starts executing, lest we miss the chance. Alright, can I boost? Yeah! 
We got a pretty good time there. Get ready for it. Doink. But the damage was great. All right, I also have one person in the comments section who is convinced that you can press the right trigger after. Oh, I, I think I did it wrong there. So it's random unless you press the right trigger like four times after you do the Renzo. Now to me that sounds like the press B to catch Pokemon thing, but uh, I'll try it. And I'll even let you listen in. We could use like uh, save states to try figuring out exactly, but I should just do that. But I'm not going to. All right, we're not gonna get the opportunity to test the theory right now. I thought you'd have more HP. I guess the rough divide finished him off. Well, you know what? If we fight Omega, you'll get your chance to see it. You'll get the blood you seek. Yay, yeah, star of attack. And I would like you to revoke this one. Just kidding. Alright, that's all of them. Now? Now we position people. No, now we do some item management. Now we cook the books. Yeah, we'll do it right now. Okay. So, Zell needs that Rosetta Stone. On which GF? Great question. I could consult my spreadsheet, but I don't want to. Uh, Quetzalcoatl, I think, is pretty much tapped out. Eden, we'll see, or Doom Train, we'll see if they have any useless abilities. Presume you don't have space right now, Doom Train. That's fine. Amnesia Greens. Can probably get away with revoking HP plus 10%. Yep. There you go. Zell's got more abilities. Uh, Elm Guard. Just gonna double check again. Quistus. No, Renoa is the one missing out. Her GFs. She was gonna have Alexander because thematically that would have been really good. You know, because idea. But I actually made some mistakes executing my master plan. Sorry if that shakes your faith in me. Hmm. He's already been been pretty optimized. Cerberus too. We could try. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have to take the unenviable course of action of dropping eh, the item command on one of them. They don't both need it. Elm guard for Tonberry. There we go. You're all good now. She doesn't have Elm attack. Urban doesn't have status defense. Guess we should still check his GFs: Leviathan, Pandemonium, and Bahamut. Say Leviathan is a good thematic candidate. This is what you missed a whole bunch of in uh, that other video. Spirit plus 20%, pretty useless. And status guard. There we go, and I'm not gonna worry about Elm attack and status attack. I mean, they're really good, but it's fine for what we have left. And finally, 
Asuna, always good. Death, always good. Wow. His stat magic is, uh... All, all done, been used up. Hmm. Kirag is actually not terrible. Put it on there, 65, pretty good. And finally, Rinwa. She's got Ultima, I believe, so that pretty much seals it. Also, you know what? I'm going to transfer that wholly to Irvin. Yeah, at this point, it's like, pick one more element. Ah, uh, wind. Why not? And this is just going to help us, or help Irvin specifically. Because Rinna is not doing anything with her holy spells. I think we saw it get cast once. That's, that's plenty for it. Alright, sorry if you find this not super entertaining. There we go. And... Boom. It's another good general defender. And I like that. Alright, why are we fretting about all these sorts of details? Because Omega Weapon. Who, uh, can wreck you pretty well. Okay, time to make our daring jump across the chandelier. And yeah, I guess we could go in the other way. Solid dodge, Squall. No. We don't want to open that hatch because we know what's down there. And I guess what I really want is a save point. Yeah. Or we could go without. That would be pretty cool. Hmm. It's a little tempting. I've got save states after all. We won't lose that much progress. We'll just run up here and see if there's a save point. Uh, no, ah, dang it. I mean, I could go all the way up the clock tower, but that's quite a jog. You know what? We're just gonna go for it. 